Hello everyone, it's Suzanne Skye and I'm showing you my belated uh, Halloween centerpiece that's on our table. Uh, I didn't get around to filming it before Halloween and now it's after, but I don't know, today's what about November 13th or I really don't know, something like that. But uh, I enjoy making little centerpieces or something for the table when I can and especially at Halloween because I love the bright orange and the um, just the creativity and mystery and fun of it so anyway uh, this is a bowl that I had for the kids treats we live out um, <clears throat> excuse me we live outside of town so we don't get trick-or-treaters really but uh, our youngest granddaughter who's a teenager still comes uh, she's really creative and she likes dressing up and her uh, two best friends do too so they all came out and I had three big uh, gallon Ziploc bags full of all kinds of things for them. Candy, popcorn balls, uh, cheese crackers, um, a little star cracker things, and uh, what else? I think pencils and some, little, oh, some of these spiders uh, were in there too. And I don't even remember everything now, but there's just a lot of different things to fill up the bags so and from these you can see them are some trays that I used because we had the, and just snack kind of things for dinner that night uh, deviled eggs with uh, black olives cut out to look like spiders on them and uh, different things like that. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to move this around so you can see it from all sides. I don't know if that'll be smoother or not. It's a different little small tripod I'm using. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. And then these little statuettes or whatever you would call them, uh, I got it. Uh, What's the name of it? Hobby Lobby? Yeah. Several years ago. I had four of them, uh, but I broke one uh, several years ago, and I can't remember what it was, but it was a, a boy, and it was my favorite, uh, but it was shattered. It fell off of uh, the shelf I had it on, but I love how these are vintage look old-fashioned and sweet and let's see oh behind her there is a Halloween card that someone made for me and sent several years ago and I just really liked it I thought it was so pretty and uh, again orange black and white so and the uh, cake stand here I got it Goodwill several years ago, and I love the spiders hanging off of them. So I'll put her back here if I can reach. And, oh, I can hardly reach. And then this one, a little boy with a candle and a jack-o'-lantern. He's dressed as a clown. Oops. Let's see if I can move in closer without messing things up. The jack-o'-lantern, I believe I got it at Dollar Tree a year or two years ago, I think it was. And it lights from the inside, but I haven't got it lit right now. Uh, ran out of batteries. And that flower, I thought, was nice with it because I uh, take care of a lot of graves out at the cemetery. In our local one, I think there's about 
30 something uh, friends and relatives that I try to put uh, silk flowers on uh, every, every holiday or actually every season, four seasons. I used to change them out every month, but uh, nowadays at my age and, and uh, health, I, I don't get it done every, uh, every month. I'm lucky to do it every season and I missed Halloween for them this year. Uh, so I'll put something on for, I don't know, Thanksgiving or just wait till Christmas. I don't know. I guess it depends on how things go with me before I get done. So let's move on around. Oh, and that was 30 something here at our little town. But there's, counting the one cemetery in Beeville that I go to, it uh, turns, I think, 46 when I counted before is how many. And it could be more because I've got relatives at a different cemetery outside of Beeville, but it's farther to go and harder to find the graves there. So it's a newer cemetery and it's one of those where everything looks alike, you know, it's a, and I like the older ones that have, uh, you know, just whatever the family wants to put there and different headstones and everything. But anyway, then the ghost I got quite a few years ago when uh, we used to have a bunco club here. Well, not really a club. It was just really informal. And if you know how to play bunco, there's, if there's a person missing or two missing, maybe you have a, it's called a ghost, which is usually not an actual ghost uh, figure of any kind. It's just means that you're, you're playing for two people there because one person is missing. So, uh, that's how you play when you haven't got the right number, as long as you're not missing too many of the people. Because it takes at least 12 uh, to have a bunco game. And a lot of times you can only get 11 or 10, so that would be the ghost that would sit in the place of where a, a real person should be. So let's see. And down here, there's a little, I got that at uh, Goodwill last year, I think. But uh, yeah, so I thought that was cute. I didn't do any other decoration this year for Halloween. Um, there's a, just a little bottle with some fall silk flowers in it. I put there. I like the looks of those. I'm going to get over here. What you can see from here. So that's the back side. And a crow I got at a vintage shop in the next town. Uh, I like crows. This one's a little fancy, but still like it. And I think get around the table. And then over here is another one of the statues, a little, uh, I don't know what they are. They're not very, I don't know, they don't look fragile, but the one that fell off the, the shelf, it really shattered, I couldn't fix it. It's a little witch girl with a broom. And then this bottle, I think I got it at Goodwill or else one of the resale shops. And I got it because it's 
got, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a bat in the glass right here. And then that was the lid to it, it has a bat. What's it say, white rum. I don't know what brand it was, but I guess whatever brand has a logo of a bat. Oh, if I can carry this around here. Uh, there's a little better picture of the uh, cake plate that I put everything on. So, get pull around the table. And I guess that's it. I enjoyed making this or putting together. I didn't make anything. I just put pieces together for the centerpiece. And other times, other years, I've had to... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm hoarse today. Some years I've had uh, chrysanthemum plants that you can get at the store all the time in the fall, but not this year. And actually, I think I like this better. But so I guess that's it for today. I just wanted to put this together, this video, and um, show y'all. So I think it's real cute. And I'll probably do about the same thing next year, maybe. Anyway, happy belated Halloween. I hope you had a good one. We enjoyed seeing our granddaughter and the and her two best friends here. Uh, they were all dressed up some kind of uh, video game characters that were sort of like anime or, or however you say that. Uh, anyway, I'll say goodbye and have a good week. Bye-bye.